just want to tell you uh, that video has yet to be fully refuted and there's a lot to be said about it. But, you know, quite frankly, I think that these little gray things, if it's really real and these things are really appearing this way and they're really uh, making physical appearances, you know, my wife, as I said, experienced one of these standing uh, outside and she bound it in Jesus' name and it left. And so I just want to say to you, if you ever run into something like that, uh, I just want to say you should bind it in Jesus' name, rebuke it, cast it out, command it to go in Jesus' name. We don't do uh, pet stinkies around here, these filthy little creatures that are trying to pretend they're something else, and they're really just housing for demons. That's what I believe they are. But in, anyway, the point is, is, this is leading towards what I'm calling ultimate disclosure. Now, I'm going to get into some of the most interesting part of this this broadcast you know this is very important i want you to really pay attention closely to this next part on this part i'm going to show you the vatican's involvement in some of this and look i i i don't i i just want to share it with you because i believe that they have certain beliefs about what's happening and i think it's important that we just take a look at this so if you would please watch this news broadcast or news program where they interview a man from the Vatican's astrology department, and he's talking about what is going on. And then they get in the topic of, is there alien life in the world? Is there alien life in our universe? And I think this is very, very important. And there's a reason I'm showing this to you, because I'm going to a second part. You're not going to want to miss this. Please watch this. Now beyond NASA and ESA, the Roman Catholic Church is also interested in what lies beyond our universe. Indeed, the Vatican has its own observatory in Rome, but Jesuit astronomers are also looking to the heavens in Mount Graham, Arizona. There lies three very powerful telescopes. The Vatican's astronomical institution dates back to at least 1891, and it's already given us breakthroughs, like the first photographic proof of the green flash at sunset. Well, to speak more about the Vatican's space activity, I'm joined by the head of the Vatican Observatory, Brother Consul Mario. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. It's a delight to be here. So what exactly are Jesuit astronomers looking for? And does the Catholic Church actually believe or is even open to the idea of the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence? Well, fortunately, extraterrestrial intelligence will exist or not exist, whether I believe in it or not. Uh, we are simply astronomers doing the same astronomy as anyone else with the difference that we can do long-term projects because we don't have to face year-to-year -year funding. But we don't have a particular mission. We don't have a particular goal we're trying to reach. We are a dozen astronomers from around the world, and every one of us is doing our own particular research project, whether it's the mathematics of cosmology or trying to understand dust that comes off of comets and hits our atmosphere as meteors. Now, does the existence of alien life contradict in any way Catholic dogma? I mean, do you understand that this could come as a shock to worshipers as it affects the, the claim in a way that men are special in the cosmos? Funny thing about that. Um, first of all, it's not going to be such a shock because I think most of us have well, you know, watched enough science fiction that we're used to the idea we're not alone. There was a survey done by the Center for Theology and the Natural Sciences that showed that 90% of every religion they in interviewed said finding other intelligences would not be a shock to them. Any, I think the bigger shock really was back when they discovered human beings living in the Americas. And we've gone through that. We're ready to accept that any creature in the universe that is created, was created by the same God who created us, is in the same kind of relationship as the rest of us. Now that's a very interesting take on things, and there's Guy Consomongo, and he is the one that's going down this road and looking into all this. And so, you know, I don't, I don't have any criticisms or anything that I want to say that's, you know, negative about this, but I want you to be aware of what is being said and where this is going. So this is important because to, to know what's going on, especially in some of these areas, why does a organization such as the, the Catholic Church have a, um, a telescope in Arizona? And they call it, get this, Lucifer. The name of the telescope in Arizona is Lucifer. 